That's it. That's what you need right there. Your finger? No. Not my finger. You need one thing to buy a house. What is it? What is the one thing you need to buy a house? A dingle. No. No. A banded, bulbous, snarf black. No. We're getting into that one thing, and we're doing it right now. What's up, Waniacs? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for swinging by. I truly appreciate it. As I mentioned in the intro, we're going over the one thing you need today to buy a house in 2020. One thing. One thing. Just one thing. So what do you think that one thing is? Comment down below. Let me know what you think the one thing is that you need to buy a house today. What is it? What do you think it is? Make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video where I'm going to give you a resource that's going to help you even more with that one thing. Alright dude, what is it? You know what it is? Drum roll please. Drum roll. It's faith. Hallelujah. Don't worry, I'm not getting preachy on you. Not that kind of video. Today we're using FAITH as an acronym. Look at me getting all fancy. Acronym. Now he's a philosophizer. FAITH. F-A-I-T-H. So I need five things to buy a house? So let's break it down. F. You need a fan Fantastic real estate professional. That's right, I said it, I put it out there. That's what you need to start off with. Because a real estate professional, a fantastic real estate professional, is going to guide you to an even more awesome loan officer. Because that's where you start. You gotta get pre approved, pre qualified, whichever way you wanna go. That is the first step. So a fantastic agent will be able to guide you to that person, and he or she can help you further with getting the ball rolling. Because you wanna know what you can afford. Actually, you wanna know what you want to afford. And I've got a video on that down below. You wanna know what you want to afford so that you know what you're comfortable with, what houses you wanna look at in that range, and go from there. So you have to start off with F, a fantastic real estate professional. There you go. Moving on to A. A. You're going to get an appraisal. Once you find the property, you start the process, the bank is going to send out an appraiser, and that person is going to make sure the home that you're buying is worth what you're buying it for. Now, some things can happen if it under appraises, over appraises. That's a whole other video. Like I said, I got a stack of them to make. I'll get to it, so stay tuned. But that is number two. So you need a fantastic agent and you need an appraisal. And that will happen. It's all part of the process. Don't freak out. Next we have I. Well, I hope you can enjoy the victory with one freaking I. I is in Inspections. You want to get inspections, you need an inspector. Now, there are multiple inspections, and I'll have videos coming on all of them. There are structural and mechanical, there are chimney inspections, environmental inspections, old inspections, radon inspections. I've got a video on radon as well. There's pest inspections for even more things than just termites. There are more things out there than just termites, trust me, and you want to look for them. So you want to have inspections. That is the third piece of the puzzle. So you've got your fantastic agent, you're going to be setting out an appraiser, you want to inspect the property, the fourth piece of the puzzle, the T in faith, is title. You want to have an awesome title company go through the back end of the process, go through all the title documents that are going to be needed in regards to transferring that property from the seller to you as the buyer. There are lien sheets, there are title binders, there are deeds to properties that are involved. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. You'll even notice that during the process, if you get the inspections done, the appraisal and all that stuff, you'll notice a little bit of a law where it's kind of like, okay, what are we doing now? You might not be doing anything, your agent better be doing something. 
but the title work is constantly working in the back end, making sure there are no skeletons in the closet. That property, that deed, needs to be transferred to you free and clear of all encumbrances, liens, whatever else. I've had issues where the seller didn't cut their grass back in the day and they got a fine, they never paid it. I've had issues come up where there was another mortgage that they didn't even know they still had. It can get ugly and that's why you need a top-notch title professional to go through that to make sure that you are getting the house free and clear with no headaches. And last but not least, the ancient faith you're going to need. This, for example, was under H for home insurance. They also call it hazard insurance. You'll need home insurance prior to closing on the property. A lot of times a lender is going to want to see what's called a binder number or a deck number or what, whatever your state calls it. They're going to see that number in the file so they know that you've not just gotten a quote for the insurance, but you have a physical policy queued up for you for when this thing closes and it's a nice, smooth transition. So there you go. That's your one thing. Faith. A fantastic agent, appraisal, inspections, top-notch title company, and home insurance. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do me a favor and smash the like button. You know my favorite color is like button blue. Again, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you on the next one.